Hello crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, I have put together some of my favorite DIYs that you can create with a lemon theme for the spring and summer. Now, I just love using the vibrant yellow to brighten up my space and when I saw the lemon dishes and accessories back at my Dollar Tree, I was inspired to create this compilation with lots of lemon ideas to share with you. Now as always, the supply list for each project as well as the link to the original tutorial is included in the description box so you can use it for reference. Now before we start, I have to say hey hey to all of my subscribers and if you're a new visitor to my channel today, I hope you consider subscribing as well and stick around to enjoy these crafts and see all of the ways that you can customize these for your space. So now let me just show you some lemon items that are now available in small quantities at Dollar Tree Online and also in some Dollar Tree stores. Now the first item are these 10 and a half inch lemon dinner plates with a minimum of six. They have these five and a half inch lemon bowls with a minimum of six. They have the seven and a half inch salad plates with a minimum of six. They also have an assortment of lemon print kitchen linens with only a minimum of four, as well as the 12 ounce lemon print mugs with a minimum of four. So now let's jump right into the projects. Now for this project, we'll need one of these large lemon plates and we'll need two saucers. We'll also need two glass candle holders. And as an option, I'm using these wood finials I picked up from the thrift store. Now we're gonna start by taking the wood finial pieces and I am gonna be adhering them together with wood glue. Now you could use any topper that you want or none at all if you choose. And then we can grab our plates and we're going to go ahead and clean them well with alcohol. Um, we also want to do this for the candle holders as well. And then place the plates to the side and we're going to prepare to paint those candle holders. Now I will be using this white chalk paint for these. Now you want to apply two coats of the chalk paint, being sure to let them dry completely in between the coats. You also want to paint that finial white as well. And here is everything completely dry. And now I'm going to lightly sand around the bottom and top edges to remove any paint and dull the glass a bit so it adhere better. Now to protect the paint, I will be using this satin Mod Podge. Now I'm going to apply one coat to the candle holders and finial and I want to let them dry completely. And now that they're all dry, we can adhere them to the plates. Now the first candle holder will be applied with the wide side down. Now for a permanent bond, use E6000 and then back that up with a high temp hot glue. We wanna first apply the E6000 around that rim and then pay, place a bead of that hot glue on as well. and then center your piece and press it gently into place. And then you're gonna apply your glue combo to the top of that candle holder. And then center a saucer right on top. And then take your second candle holder and we wanna apply that glue combo to that small end of the candle holder. and place it in the center of that saucer. And 
and then we're going to do a glue combo on top of that wide end and then we're going to add our last saucer on top of that. And then we're going to top it all off with the finial with adding that glue combo and we're going to place it right in the center on the top. And then we just let it dry completely before using. And here is the completed project. Now how sweet is this tray for your table? Now I've added a few simple items from my stash to decorate the tray and it just really elevates this piece to a different level. And there are so many ways that you can style this piece and you can use any kind of plate design that you like. Now this super easy tray is easy to make and I hope you have fun making yours too. Now for the first piece I will be using this lemon cardstock printable and this 8x10 photo frame. And the other piece I'll be using this cardstock printable and a piece of scrap wood cut to fit the printout. Now we're going to start by removing the packaging and contents of that frame. And then we're going to take our cardstock printable and center it on the glass since it's a little smaller than the frame. And once it is centered, take some scotch tape and we're going to secure it into place. Now I'm going to quickly flip it over, make sure everything is centered, and then replace all the inserts as shown here. And there you go, super simple. Now on to the next one. Now for the truck, we're gonna trim the edges of that cardstock printout first. Now to adhere the image, I will be using this Mod Podge. Now I'm going to apply a coat to the top of that wood. And then I'm going to apply the image on top. And once that's nice and secure into place, I'm going to apply a coat of Mod Podge over the top of the image. And now that that's dry, I'm going to stain the sides and the back of the wood. Now I will be using this light color by Ace. I will put the name of it in the description box below. Then I'm going to apply one coat to the back and the sides and I want to let it dry completely. And here are both pieces ready to display. I think they look simply adorable. Now I love how these feature the lemons that match the plates and feature that worn, rustic farmhouse look. And you can hang one and then place the other on a table and you can add it to your lemon display. need one of these home signs from the Dollar Tree, four of these three and a half by five matted picture frames, these lemon printouts which are linked in the description box below, some buffalo check craft paper you can print your own or purchase for about a quarter from a craft store, and a piece of heavyweight poster board. We'll also need this yellow polka dot wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. Now first, what we, what we want to do is paint our home sign. So go ahead and gather up your paint supplies and grab that sign. 
Now we'll need to take the sign apart, and this can be done fairly easily by wiggling apart the letters. For letters that are being stubborn, you can go ahead and just grab like a flathead screwdriver and just carefully pry the pieces apart. Then what you want to do is grab a pair of wire cutters and snip off all of those protruding nails. And now it's time to paint. I will be using this white chalk paint. Now we're going to go ahead and apply that paint and we want to make sure that we get along the outside edges as well. We're going to be applying two coats but we want to let them dry thoroughly in between the coats. Now while those dry, grab those picture frames and we want to remove them from all of the packaging. And then we want to remove all of the contents from those frames. This includes that back stand, the picture board, and the matting. Go ahead and repeat this for all of the frames. Now we want to begin by working on the picture board part of those frames. So go ahead and grab your polka dot paper and we're going to go ahead and remove that from the packaging. And now we're just going to cut a piece that will cover the length of that picture board. And now we want to apply that picture board to the paper by using hot glue around the edges and then we're just going to flip that over and press it firmly into place. Now you want to repeat this with all four boards. And now all you have to do is to cut out those picture boards. And here they are, all cut out. So now we can work on our mats. Now I will be using this buffalo check sheet that I printed or you can use a sheet of craft paper from a craft store. You can also use fabric or ribbon if you like. Now you can cut out the strips with your scissors but I have this small paper cutter I'm going to use just to speed up the process. And here are all of your strips. Now to apply the strips to the mat, we're going to be placing the strips approximately a quarter of an inch away from the center cutout. So we're just going to apply a little bit of hot glue, place the strips into place all the way around, and we're going to be trimming that excess off as we go. And here's the first one complete. And now we just repeat this for the remaining mats. So 
So now we can work on our lemons. Now I have the link in the description box to plant these out. Now this is definitely optional, but it adds a cute little touch to the finished product. And you want to make sure you print these out on cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and cut these out of the cardstock. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay these down on top of our heavy poster board. Then we're going to grab our Mod Podge and I'm using the satin finish, but it's, a, it's your choice which one you want to use. Go ahead and apply it to the back of each one of the lemons and then we can adhere it to the poster board. And then what we're going to do is cut each one out. Now you can use an X-Acto knife, but I'm going to use my fine point scissors like I've done here. Now once all those lemons are cut out, lay them out on a piece of protective paper and grab your Mod Podge. What we're going to do is apply a layer of that Mod Podge on top of the lemon and let them dry thoroughly. And this should seal everything in. Now by this time your home sign should be dry. So what I'm going to do is add some distressing. So I will be using this gray acrylic paint in the pavement color and then some white acrylic paint as well. Now we're going to take our chip brush and I want to mix and blend the colors and then kind of dust off some of that paint for a mostly dry brush. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to paint along the edges of the letter to give it a darker, kind of worn, rustic look. Now I'm going to repeat this for all of my letters. And this is what they all should look like when done. Now once they're dry, it's time to put all the frames together. So we'll go ahead and first place in that mat. Now one of the little foams came off this mat, but I'm just going to use my hot glue and just tack that back into place. And then we're going to go ahead and place in the picture with the polka dot and then finally the backing. And then we have this cute little frame. Now we just repeat this for the rest of the frames. Now it's time to apply our letters. Go ahead and take a frame and then grab one of the letters. We're going to make sure it's nice and centered and we're going to start by applying E6000 to the letter for permanent adhesion. Now I get a lot of questions on why I use E6000 and hot glue. Well the E6000 is, a, is permanent and takes a while to dry and cure so I use hot glue for an instant hold and it holds the bond in place until the E6000 dries. And this allows me to keep working on my project. So once both adhesives are applied, you want to go ahead and make sure that letter is nice and center and place it on the glass. Make sure very gentle pressure. We don't want to break it. And then just, just repeat this process for the rest of the letters. Now you can stop here and display them on your tabletop or other area of your choice. Now once your lemons dry, you can ply them with a little sticky dot from the Dollar Tree as an accent. Isn't that cute? They would even look great on a picture ledge. Now, if you prefer to hang your signs, I'll show you how. Now, I'll be using some burlap ribbon, and I'll prefer to use this wide burlap ribbon that I got from Dollar General for 70% off. It's a little wider than the Dollar Tree version, so I'm going to use that for extra security. Now, I'm going to cut a piece about 30 inches long. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and start applying the picture letters. Now I'm going to start at the bottom. So I'm just going to apply hot glue. And I want to press the bottom of that frame into place. Then I'm also going to apply hot glue to the top of the frame. Now I'm going to use that Dollar Tree burlap roll as a spacer and it's about two inches wide. And then I'm just going to continue to go ahead and adhere those remaining letters in the same manner. And here they are all applied into place. Now on the back of the top frame we're going to use this nautical rope as a hanging loop. So we're going to cut a piece three or four inches long and what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere the two loose ends together with hot, loop, hot glue. Now once those are bonded I'm going to apply in a generous amount of that hot glue on that end and I'm going to secure it on the back of the frame. And then I'm just going to let that dry thoroughly and you are done. And here is the completed hanging project. I am so happy with the way that this turned out and it looks so cute with my other yellow and lemon decor. I think that these frames are the perfect backdrop for these rustic style letters and it kind of pulls the entire design together. And then adding these little lemons gives it that little extra touch and it can be applied with a simple sticky dot. They are optional but can be added however you like. Now for this project we'll need two 8x10 matte style picture frames. And we'll also need two of these lemon photos which are printables provided in the description box below. So now we're going to start off by unpackaging those picture frames and removing all of the inserts from the frame and setting those to the side. Now my picture frames are silver, but for this project I want, to, I want them to be white so I'm going to go ahead and paint them. Now I will be using this white acrylic paint to do this. Now I'm going to be applying two coats of this paint to the frame and you want to make sure you allow them to dry completely in between the coats. Now once both coats are thoroughly dry I'm going to apply a layer of this matte Mod Podge to the entire frame and this will seal and protect it. And now that the Mod Podge is set and dry, we can start to assemble our frames. Now the link to these printables are in the description box below and just print them out on white cardstock. Now we're going to take our dried frames and we want to carefully insert that glass back into the frames first. Now as you see the principle is slightly smaller than the frame so you want to make sure that it's centered. But we're going to place that mat in first and then replace those foam strips on there if they came off. And then we're going to place your printed photo on top and we want to make sure it's centered on that mat. And then place that retail photo in the back on the frame and secure everything in place with the little tabs. Now once everything is in, you can shift and adjust these by lightly tapping the frame if needed. And then once it looks good, repeat this for the other photo and you are done. And here's the pair hung on display. I think these are super easy and they turned out great. Now I really love the combination of the navy blue and the lemons. I think it's so vibrant and cheery. Now I've seen similar pieces online for about $25, so making them yourself is a super money saver.
So I will be using these two white mugs from the Dollar Tree. Now I will be applying these phrases to the mug and the link to the printout is in the description box below. So we want to go, just go ahead and cut out both of these phrases. And here I'm just kind of figuring out how I would like it to be placed on my mug. Now in order to transfer the image to the mug, you're going to have to take a pencil and shade the entire back of the words. And then you want to go ahead and you want to go ahead and tape that phrase into place on top of the mug. Now you could just write over the existing words with a pencil, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my Dollar Tree embossing tool. And I'm just going to trace over the letters of the printout. And when you're done, you just simply remove your template. And you'll see that the words have been transferred onto the mug. So now I'm going to take my fine tip Sharpie and what I'm going to do is carefully trace over the words. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And then you want to go ahead and repeat this for the second mug as well. So now I'm going to embellish the mugs with this ribbon. Now I'm going to line the top edge of the mug with this lemon ribbon. Then I want to add the checkered ribbon, but I want to cut that checkered ribbon in half. And then I want to go ahead and apply that strip along the bottom edge of the lemon ribbon. And here are both mugs with the ribbon in place. Now I wanted to add a bow to the mugs and I'm going to use the, the check ribbon for this. And then I'm simply going to adhere the bows to the mugs with hot glue. And finally, I'm adding these bundles of Dollar Tree wildflowers to complete the look. And here are these mugs completed. Now, I just love these. And remember, you can always add Mod Podge to protect the words if you like. I really hope that you are enjoying these crafts so far and I just wanted to pop in and let you know that you can follow me on all these platforms below as she so crafty. And what we'll need is a glass candle holder and a 4x6 picture frame. Now we're going to go ahead and remove that picture frame from the packaging and we're going to figure out how we want to mount it. So in order to make sure it's nice and centered I'm just taking a measurement just to make sure I can mark the center. So 
now I'm just going to apply some E6000 and hot glue to the top of that candle holder. And then I'm going to center my photo frame right on top. And we're just going to let this sit to dry overnight. And I use black satin spray paint on the photo pedestal. So now we can take our pedestal frame and we can take our insert and lay those to the side. Now I printed out these two free lemon theme signs for the frame and the website where I found these is in the description box below. Now in order to cut these to the right size, I'm just going to lay the glass over the sign and then I'm going to trace it out with a pencil. Then you just want to go ahead and cut it out. Now to assemble the frame, we're first going to insert that glass, then we're going to place in the art, that photo insert, and then the back. Perfect fit. Now I will be using this lemon and checkered ribbon from the Dollar Tree to embellish our pedestal. Now I'll be using this lemon ribbon to make a quick bow. And then I'm going to take that checkered fabric and I'm going to cut a small piece and hot glue a small strip of that around the candle holder. And then I'm going to take an additional strip of that checkered ribbon and I'm going to make two ribbon tails. And now you just hot glue those tails to the candle holder. And then finally, just hot glue that ribbon in place right on top. And here is this cute little sign just hanging out with my other lemon decor. I think this is so cute. Now for this project, we'll need one margarita glass. We'll also need one saucer or salad plate. And I'm going to use this white one from the thrift store. And then we're going to paint. So we're going to remove any stickers and then I'll be using this white chalk paint for these pieces. Now I'm going to apply two coats, letting them dry completely in between the coats. Now my plate is an off-white color, so I'm going to paint that as well so it matches my glass. Now once they're both dry, I'm going to apply a coat of Mod Podge over the paint and seal and protect it. And once it's all dry, I'm just going to lightly sand the bottom of the glass to prepare it for adhesion. Now I want to apply the E6000 around the bottom of the glass. And then I'm going to follow up with some high temperature hot glue. And then I'm going to apply that glass to the bottom of the white saucer, being sure that it's nice and centered. And once that glue sets, I'm going to get ready for the next step. 
Now I'm going to top my tray with these lemons that I got from Amazon and these leaves that I got off some Dollar Tree roses. I just added a simple buffalo check bow and here is the completed display. Now I really love the display and you could add anything that you like to match your decor. Now I really think this is just simple and sweet and will look great when added to your tablescape. We'll fit a 5x7 photo without the mat. So I'll be using this free principle from the same wipes that, as we used before for the pedestal sign. And we're going to go ahead and remove the frame from the packaging and remove the frame's contents. Now again, we're going to go ahead and use that glass to outline the image and then cut it out. And now we can go ahead and assemble the frame back in place. We place the glass in, followed by the art. Then we put in that matte frame, the photo card, and then the back of the frame. Then we just want to check and everything is centered. Perfect. Now I wanted to add a small embellishment to the frame, so I took a few clippings from the yellow wildflowers from Dollar Tree, and I'm tying them together with a piece of twine. And then I'm gonna cut off a piece of that checkered ribbon, and I just wanna wrap it around the bottom of the bundle. So then we're gonna hot glue that floral bundle to the bottom corner of that frame. And then I'm just gonna make a simple bow out of that checkered ribbon and I wanna add it to the flowers. And this is the completed look. This sign is so simple, but it makes a huge statement. How adorable. Now for this project, we'll need this three piece container set. And we'll also need some of this thick jute twine that I picked up from Walmart. And also a couple of lemons. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to cut two of the lemons in half. Now this is fairly easy to do with a sharp kitchen knife. And then back to the containers, I'm going to remove all of those labels. And once they're taken apart, I'm going to remove those handles. Now you can do this with a good pair of scissors. So next, I'm going to be taping off the bottom of the containers with painter's tape. And now we can grab our protective paper and I will be using this pavement gray acrylic paint for the bottom. And I'm gonna apply two coats of this paint, letting them dry in between coats. And next, I will be using this silver paint for a dabbing technique. And I will be using the cosmetic sponges to do this. 
So I want to start applying the paint in a random pattern on the container. Then I want to repeat this on all the containers and let them dry. And when they are dry, I'm just going to seal them in with a layer of Mod Podge. And once that Mod Podge is nice and dry, we can carefully start to remove that painter's tape. And here are all the containers with the protective finish. So now I'm going to take my jute twine and I'm going to add that to the container. So I'm going to be starting with a bead of hot glue and I'm going to start to wrap the jute twine right above where the paint starts. Now I'll be wrapping this around the container about four times. And now that they're all done, we can add our lemons. Now I will be adding one lemon to the front of each container. Now I also wanted to add a leaf from a rose stem, but I cut it apart for each lemon. And now you just kind of adjust the leaf until it's just right and you want to glue it into place and then you just want to place it back on the container if it's right add hot glue to the back and permanently adhere it to the front of the container and here are all of our containers completed Now I just added a bit of greenery and some lemons in the middle and these are ready for display. Now from napkins and utensils to craft supplies and bath supplies, there are so many uses for these containers. Now I had so much fun working on these easy lemon DIYs. You guys have to let me know in the comments which one was your favorite today. Listen, I hope that you all enjoyed seeing these creations again, or for some of you, for the very first time. I hope that you all are inspired to create your own Lemon Fresh creations using the different items presented in this video. Now, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when the next DIY goes live. It's absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.